Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this scripting video, I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make obby spawn locations in Roblox Studio. So basically, there's stage 1 over here, stage 2 over here, and well, uh, if the player touches another stage, they'll spawn in that stage. This is going to be a very simple system. It takes only like 3 scripts and that's it, and only one is long. So let's get right into it. So insert a script service, grab a script, and just call it leader stats. This will manage the leader stats and uh, the teleporting of the player to the stage that they're on. So we're going to do game.players.player add a connect function, and then player right between these two brackets. Then we're going to do local leader stats equals to instance.new leader stats uh, equals, no, not folder, instance.new folder, comma, plr. Then we're going to do leader shots that name equals to leader stats. And then we're going to do local stage equals to instance dot new int, int value comma leader stats. So the, um, the comma over here, uh, so when you make an instance on new comma over this, this means what parent it's going to be. So this is going to be under the folder of leader stats and then this will be under the uh, player. So leader stats, uh, then we're going to do uh, stage dot value equals to one, which is what stage they're on. And then uh, stage dot name equals to stage okay then we're going to do await just like that don't put any number in it then we're going to do player dot character added connect function player dot character added connect function wait point one then we're going to do player dot character move okay wait so we're going to leave this script off right now and then we're going to now we're going to create the part so don't make it a spawn location, okay? Because we want there to be no spawn locations in the game so the player falls from the sky. So then when it waits once, so when the as soon as the player spawns and drops, it'll automatic he will automatically be teleported to this. So we're just gonna do this, uh, anchor the part and then just name it one. The 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 name of the stage. Just name it one. And that's it. Then we're gonna insert an int value. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be the stage. That's uh th this is gonna be the stage. And then we're gonna insert a script. Uh, it's just call it uh, assign stage. And then look, this look look how easy this is. Just do script dot parent dot stage dot value equals to script dot parent dot name. Because for some reason this name doesn't register, so we have to put in an int value. And then the next script we're gonna insert is uh, is this. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, let's see new st uh, new stage. Let's just call it that. This will uh, make the player. Uh, get onto the stage if they t if they touch the part. So we're gonna do a uh, script dot parent dot touch connect function. Then hit between the bracket marks. Hit. Then we're gonna do local player plr equals to game dot players find first child hit dot parent dot name. So whatever touch it will find the name of the human and then we'll search for that in the players. Then we're gonna do local n local number equals to script uh, script dot parent dot stage dot value basically that and then we're gonna do if player so if, if it is a player then we're gonna do if player dot leader stats dot value is less than number which is the value then player dot leader stats dot dot stage dot value no, player dot leader sets dot stage oh, over here stage dot value, and then then player dot leader sets dot stage dot value equals to script dot parent dot parent dot name. No, we'll do, we'll do equals to number, which is the stage. Okay, now let's finish the leader stat script. So we're gonna do player dot character move to uh, capital M capital T bracket marks workspace with a with l lowercase w find first child player dot leader stats dot stage dot value and then out of this then we do uh, um dot position plus vector three dot new zero one zero and this basically gets the position it do, does it one block higher. So let's see if this works. Let's duplicate this and create. Uh, this will be stage two. And then this over here will be stage three. And then let's see if it works. 
you, all you have to do is rename the stage and it will count as a stage. So look, so watch, we're gonna press play and let's see if it works. Stage C, we spawn, we automatically spawn as stage one. Stage two, see as soon as we touch this we got into stage two. Let's Ooh. reset, let's see if we spawn in stage two. And... We're on stage two as you can see and then if we go into stage three and reset. Ooh. Reset and we'll be on stage three. See, and we're on stage three. And if you touch stage two or stage one, it does not push you on the stage because of that check I put in. So basically, that's the video, guys. Um, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the the model will and scripts will be in the description. And be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye. Hello.